Hello and welcome to the video series on Git Kraken. Today we will discuss about the GUI tool and we will create and initialize a repository. So I have already downloaded the Git Kraken. So, but for your uh, information, you can go to the gitkraken.com and you can download this free GUI tool. So we're going to use this and we I have already downloaded this tool. So let's open it. I have the git track in here. So now we have this um, GUI tool and what we want to do is first we will create a repository on our machine on on my local machine and then we will use this to commit some files and to use some git command. So now we will create a local repository and then we will work on that uh, repository. So I'll click on start local repo. I click on the start local repo and I can choose the location where I want to initialize. So here I can say I can create a new folder, say Kraken one. And I want to use this folder as a git folder. So I'll select this Kraken one and I say Kraken one demo. And with this, we can create a repository locally. And I'll say create repo. So I have a view something like this. And this is my master branch. I have a default, default master branch. And now I can create files. I can uh, commit files. We need to keep one point in mind that we should have Git installed on our machine, right? If you don't have the git uh, git installed so it won't work because this tool is actually a git tool okay so let's create a file we can create some files from here so here in this section we can see all the files that we are working on so i'll keep this simple because i just want to make everything simple so that you could understand it better i'm not using any framework any java framework any spring or js framework we can work on that later. So let me create a simple file. So let me create a file and I can give the name of file here. File one. Now, now this is my file one. And this file has been created. And now this is an editable mode. So I can write anything here since it's, I think it's a text file. So I can write my first. So I can write my first commit. This is just a simple sentence. So this file is in unstaged file, right? So this file is here in unstaged category. So I can move it to the staged file using this button. Either I can click here or I can click stage all changes. So let me click on stage all changes. I can say save and save. Now it's in the stage file. And if I want to move it back to unstage, so I can just need to click here. If I move, if I click here, as you can see, it has moved back to the unstage area. So since we want to commit this, so let's move it back to the stage area. And now to commit, I can write a commit message here. I can say first, first commit. Okay. And I can commit this file. Right now, as you can see, this was the initialize commit. If it, this was a default commit that we get when we run the git, uh, git kraken. And this was our first commit. And in this commit, we have this one file. So if I want to create another file, say file two, right? And let's say, right, this is file two. And then we will have to stage this file. I hope you know what is unstaged files, stage files. Uh, so you know all these different terminologies of Git. So let's just stage this file and save the changes. And then let's say. So now we have an option of amending the commit. That we the commit that we did in the first part, the first commit. If we want to amend that commit, we can 
click on the amend and it will take the latest commit the, the last commit and we can use that also or we can create a new commit so let's use that commit and we'll say commit with two files and i will amend the previous one now as you can see with this commit we have two files here file one and file two but with the initial commit we only have one file which is readme.md right so uh, this was just a very simple example of how we can initialize a repo and how we can create files and we can commit files in the next video we will further talk about uh, different features right we can create some branches and then we can move between those branches thank you